Hi again, everyone, and welcome to Friday Football Fever. Big high school football games all around the area tonight. We start with the biggest one. That's the one at Memorial Stadium. I was there for the 10th battle for the boot, East versus West, and once again, a loud and proud capacity crowd on hand for this GISD showdown. They were really loud, really loud, both sides, and that is great to hear. And also during the Star Spangled Banner Citizens Medical Center, PHI Air Medical Flyover. I have covered every one of these battles, but I saw something tonight I had never seen before here. Tailgate grilling. Oh, yeah, a special event mm, on the east side. Don't you wish you had smell of vision? Oh, that was some good stuff. Got those tortillas going too. All right, now to the game. West has the ball first. Hand off to Tyvon Hardrick. That was expected. Not expected. Fumble. There's a pile up, and Trent Nianto recovers for East at the West 47 yard line. Big break. First play for the Titans, William Gurley. Nice pickup. And then watch this. Doink. Oh, late personal foul on the Warriors. That pushes the ball down the Warriors 23 yard line. Later in the drive to give it to Gurley from the six. Can he get to the end zone? He does. Extra point missed, but East is first on the board in the battle for the boot. 6 nothing. Please do not injure touchdown makers. Oh. All right. Well, the Cardinal rules of high school football. Still in the first. <laughs> Hardrick gets going. 18-yard gain of the Warriors, 39, but they did not score in the first quarter. Now to the second. Titans try a 31-yard field goal, but the snap is bad. The try is no good. Now Warriors then try to get Hardrick going in the second quarter. Here's a 37-yard pickup for our athlete of the week to the West 47. But later in the drive, Warrior quarterback Donovan Harris looks deep into the red zone, picked off by Nianto. He's there again with the pick at the East 4. West scores before the half for a 7-6 halftime lead. Latest score in from Memorial Stadium. It is now final. Look at that. Titans beat the Warriors 21 to 14. First win of the season for the Titans. They are one and one in district, one and three overall. West drops to one and three overall, one and one in district as the Titans keep the boot. For more on this big game, let's go to our Sean Coffey live at Memorial Stadium. Hi, Sean. Hi, Don. Live here at Memorial Stadium, where the East Titans just defeat the West Warriors for the Battle for the Boot. 21 to 14, the final. They beat West for the second straight year. I'm joined now by Dr. Sanjeev Bhatia and Battle for the Boot MVP Christian Macias. And Christian, I'll start with you. How proud of you of the way your team performed here tonight? I'm very proud. You know, we just came out here with a great mindset and just executed well and just pushed forward. What do you think it says about this team that they were able to kind of block out some of the frustrations early in the season and they were able to uh, really put it all together here tonight? Well, we just had, you know, just missed communication. We got that fixed, and that's all we really needed. And now, Dr. Bhatia, to you now. You obviously, uh, very nice to meet you. You just presented Christian with his check for his, for his efforts here tonight. What does it mean to you to be able to be involved in an event like this? Yeah, this MVP trophy is for a person, a player who's magnanimous, has valor and determination. I think Masias, he deserves it very well. How special is it to see the uh, outpouring of emotion that you've seen on the field here tonight after the game? Yeah, I was sitting on the east side and they were very loud. It was a good game, back and forth. Well, guys, thank you so much for your time. Now we're going to welcome in the quarterback, Latavian Johnson. I would have fist bumped you, but you've got some hardware in your hand, so, so that's okay. Hey, Latavian, joined now by quarterback Latavian Johnson, who made the start here for, for East tonight. And Latavian, similar question to what I just asked Christian, but what do you think it says about this team that you guys were able to kind of block out some of the frustrations from that 0-3 start and you really put it all together here tonight? Um, it just shows what we can do as a team and uh, our chemistry as a team, and it shows uh, what we can get done, uh, you know, when we put our minds to it. And, um, you know, with this win, we... we we want to progress and uh, move forward and keep the momentum going, you know, uh, in the further games. Yeah, to that end, how much do you feel like this, this win here can kind of galvanize you guys going forward? It can re-energize the team. Oh, uh, any win can, you know, um, boost the team up and boost their spirits up and keep that momentum going of, you know, winning. And I think that that helped us tonight, you know, with that big win, especially with our rival. You know, um, I think that helped us a lot and moving forward and giving us that momentum and motivation we need to keep going. Two years in a row, how does it feel? It uh, feels great, honestly. It feels great. You know, we got the spear stick and we got the boot. Um, you know, especially when we had a lot of haters, we had a lot of people say that we weren't going to win, and uh, tonight we proved them wrong. Well, Latavian, congratulations, and I really appreciate your time. Don, stop back here in a second. We'll have head coach Roland Gonzalez. Back to you.